Good afternoon guys, welcome to the third video in the productivity series where we're looking at sleep. Now if you remember the first video was about starting your day right, the second one was about what we can do at work to make sure that we're most productive. So the third one only makes sense, how can we bet the best night's sleep? This is going to be a really quick video just to hopefully get some actionable tips across to you that you can try out to make sure that you get the most impactful sleep that you can. So it should be pretty universally known by now, but first tip is obviously to make sure that you get around eight hours sleep. Now that does vary between individuals, but anywhere between seven and nine, figure out what works for you and make sure that you get it. So if you're starting work at 4 a.m., you need to be going to bed 8 p.m., 9 p.m., whatever you need, maybe even 7 p.m. So the next tip would be to switch off the blue light on your screens. A lot of us are checking our emails one last time before we go to sleep or you know, uh, scrolling through Instagram, seeing what's going on on Facebook. If you just turn off the blue light on, the, on those devices, then that can really help because essentially the blue light is what messes with our circadian rhythm, telling us that it's still daytime, it's daylight and we should be awake. Switching that off gives it a bit more of a warmer tone to your screen so your white colors may look a bit, uh, a little bit orange, I suppose. Now on uh, iPhone, it's, I think it's called night shift or on like a Windows computer like I use there's a night light button um, in like the bottom right of the screen if you're on Windows 10 and yeah it really does help uh, I can testify for that one for sure but also if you can try and stay off your mobile devices and screens like just one hour before you go to bed that really helps too again just so you're not getting a load of uh, blue light into your eyes which will keep you up at night. Other quick tips would be to do your best to keep all electronic devices out of the bedroom, so whether that's TV, computers, iPads, phones, etc. You know, your bed bedrooms for sleeping in, and you need to make it as relaxing and tranquil environment as possible. Some people meditate before they go to sleep. That really helps, particularly if you have a lot of thoughts towards the end of the day. So as a quick recap, we've got eight hours sleep, uh, use the blue light filter on your electronic devices. Try not to be on them one hour before you go to sleep. Keep them out of your bedroom. Meditate if you have to before you go to sleep, if it really helps. And keep a notepad beside your bed so you can scribble down any notes that are clogging your mind and you're stressing out about. So you can have a peaceful night's sleep. Now I know that was a super quick video. I hope that you found some of those tips useful. Give them a whirl and see if it has an impact on your sleep. Watch out for the next series which is going to be on mental health starting next week.